What caliber should I get? This is question number three. And to, in my opinion, there's only three calibers we even need to talk about. And that's 223 or 556 NATO, what our typical AR-15s and M16s are in our M4s now. We can talk about 308, the 762 by 51 NATO round. And we can talk about 762 by 39, which is the AK-47 round. So let me eliminate these as I go through. I'm going to eliminate the AK round just because ballistically it is not very good. I'm not saying you can't hit things at three, 400 yards with an AK. I'm not talking about how reliable AKs are. I'm just saying ballistically the physics of the round is not very good. It is shorter, it is fatter, it is more rounded at the tip, it does not fly as well as other rounds. Period. That is physics, physics that is math, you can't argue that. Now. The 308 and 223 becomes the discussion. And just like 45 9mm, the reason I chose 223 was because I knew I could shoot more rounds downrange cheaper. Now I understand you can get surplus 762 by 39 for cheaper than 223. Yes, but we've already talked about how it is a less superior round than the 223 or the 308. They are built better, they fly straighter over longer distances. Alright, so 223, 308. 308 is much heavier. Um, I, it's almost twice as heavy per round. Um, good thing it's got three times the mass in the bullet, but um, like I said, it's almost twice the cost. Uh, when you're buying 308 over 223, and so for me, the first gun I was going to get, especially for a home defense round, because it is lighter and the guns are typically smaller and the recoil is much less, I went with the 223. And if you're looking at something for home defense, you want a smaller, more compact rifle that you can really shrink down so that you can make your way around corners real easily. You can raise it and lower it quickly. Um, that makes you a little more maneuverable. All right, so that's why I chose the 223. It's lighter, it's cheaper, the gun is smaller, the recoil is easier to handle, and for a first-time gun owner, I know some people are like, well, you can learn to manage recoil. Yeah, you can learn to save money and buy 308 too. But we're talking about guys, if you haven't bought a fighting rifle yet, you need to get one, get one in 223.